Okay, hi everybody. I'm doing a little extra bonus reading this week. I had a little extra time, fortunately, and um, one of my predictions is coming true. I predicted that um, Kim and Kanye would decide that they would get divorced in January, which is what the gossip columns have been saying. Um, I don't really like to go by gossip columns, but on Saturday, this last Saturday, Kim Kardashian filed for divorce from Kanye West. So, as I always say, I don't want this to be gossip, I don't want to be, it to be malicious. I want to solve by saying I'm not the biggest fans of the Kardashian family, but I don't have hate in my heart for anybody, including them. Um, I want to be as least biased as possible. doesn't always end up that way, especially because Libra is not my favorite <laughs> zodiac sign, but the cards are not my choice. I read what I see. So I just want to um, let you know that. So this is just a fun extra reading about what is going to go down in terms of um, the relationship between Kanye West and Kim Kardashian moving forward. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to do this. A lot of my, I don't want to make be arrogant, but a lot of my predictions have been coming true. Um, I want to also reiterate that it's not necessarily about me but it's about god god working through me to and it's um, it kind of feels weird because i've been able to have premonitions and stuff since i was a kid but it's not about me it's god working through me so sometimes i'll do readings on people and i'll forget and actually a friend texted me and was like oh remember how you said in your reading that um they would get divorced and she showed me a picture and I was like, oh yeah, I did say that because I totally forget because when I do the readings, it's really not me. It's me reading what the Spirit of God has to tell us. Okay, and this is wh how we learn and we grow. I think one of the ways to look at other people and see this. So Saraswati was the first card I got from a yogic path. And this is about when you are releasing and surrendering into the divine you know and that's why i got queen of cups first card queen of cups is about release you see how she's like <sighs> they've given up on the relationship with the hanged man i can sense and i said this too in the reading check it out i did it in like july last year um but i can sense that they hadn't been living together for a long time and actually I think she's been keeping the kids from him I don't think he's seen his kids in a long time too so and we'll get into that because it's about to get very very messy um, even though they have a prenup you know people are like sign a prenup sign a prenup but you can still contest the prenup if the prenup doesn't involve the kids you can use the kids to get uh, money or as ammunition um, I believe I did read, it's alleged because I read it, that she filed uh, for joint custody. Um, but we'll get into that too because they live in two different areas. So, Nine of Pentacles. Both of them have an idea that this is going to be better for them in terms of finances. I have a feeling that they didn't see eye to eye when it came out with, with when it came to finances. I have a sense that Kanye likes to spend quite a bit and Kim is very good with money very very good with money which I don't know if a lot of Libras are I mean I've dated two Libras uh, I'll never do it again <laughs> but uh, they were not so good with money but she is very good with money I don't know what her rising or Mars is because that has an influence on money so seven of swords there's definitely something that they're both hiding from each other and with every legal issue i've ha i've sued um four times before um and lawyers will tell you don't lay all your cards on the table so you hold on to what you know and you release it so there's a lot of sneaking around on and this is what i pick up intuitively this is not uh, fact-based it is intuitive intuitively 
He wants full custody, and so does she. But they're going to act like they want joint custody. She, okay, she's going to act like she wants joint custody, but later on in the legal proceedings, she'll declare him unfit. She wants to declare him unfit to have his kid, to have the kids move out of LA because she wants to see him. And this is something Libras do. I'm trying not to be biased. <laughs> It's just like every time I give a Libra a chance, they just like disappoint me. It's very uh, upsetting, very disloyal people. But anywho, um, not all, but just the ones that I have encountered. They're very, uh, they are the biggest backstabbers. Aries too, but definitely Libra. So she is going to claim that he's unfit and she's going to in the public because she has her way this is seven of swords very sneaky sword energies air energy both of them are air signs um she's she has her ways of like leaking things to the press um i believe and a lot of celebrities do this too they'll say somebody else leaked it they'll be like a source but then the source is actually that <laughs> person or their publicist you know so she's been leaking things to the press and he actually doesn't know that and this is going to reveal a lot and i know that whenever i speak about them i kind of feel like i'm um playing favorites but i really don't think Kanye knew what he was getting into and this is a lesson for him too is that when you are only dating or marrying somebody because they look good one day it's going to fall apart and people often say that and it sounds cliched but <sighs> i think that's the main reason why a lot of these celebrity marriages or um relationships don't last because especially with air signs uh aquarius and gemini it's different i feel like those two are very well matched especially male aquarius with female gemini but if <clears throat> if it's libra Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, it's a disaster because there's no proper foundation. So when oftentimes these celebrities uh, end up marrying each other, getting together, they don't really know each other because the one or both are always touring. So when they start to have kids and one of them stays home more, that person kind of feels like they have to sacrifice and the other person... Um, it just creates a lot of tension because one of them and this is regardless of any relationship it's about compromise however people who tend to want attention tend to be narcissistic and they have difficulty compromising so I get that here I have a strong feeling that they neither of them want to compromise and that includes Kanye so with the death and rebirth is at the bottom of the deck. They're both going to rebrand themselves. I mentioned this too in the last reading I did. Kanye is going to be more um, oriented around family, work. Even though his family, his kids will be kept from him. And I'm praying for those kids. It's an awful situation for them. <sighs> it's really, really tough because she's going to use them against him. So it's really not good. Oh gosh. <clears throat> He's going to. I'm so emotional about this because it's just really, really sad. Um, he's going to rebrand. He's going to marry somebody a little younger. And she is going to entertain older people. I do see her getting married again. Let me clarify. What relationships do they have moving forward? What relationships do they have moving forward? I think she's already seeing somebody, to be honest. And I think he knows. I think he's already seeing she's already seeing somebody. Not him. He in the next year he'll meet his uh, girl. She's Christian like, um very dark. Why start tomorrow when you can start today? 
I think the biggest problem that I saw with a lot of manifestation was that it became so commercial and all about money when really if we're trying to manifest abundance it should be a lifestyle we manifest so that we raise our level of consciousness become more aware and therefore contribute better to society so whenever you're ready to start it's totally up to you learn as you go nobody's judging you this is so that you can manifest in your life